Welcome to Visit Britain Itineraries. Today we'll be exploring the historical delights of one of the most accessible cities in Britain, York. So my challenge is to show you how much sightseeing you can do in just one day and still be back on the train by seven o'clock tonight. Can I do it? Bring it on. When coming to York, the first thing you have to do is come and visit the largest Gothic cathedral in Northern Europe, York Minster. It will definitely be a highlight of your trip here and a truly unique experience. York Minster has been described as one of the world's greatest cathedrals and looking around, I'd have to say it was worth the 250 year wait that it took to build. Walking around York, you get a real sense of the history behind the city walls, and they are in themselves a piece of architectural beauty. Known as the city, the bar and Roman walls, they cover two and a half miles and surround an area of 263 acres. After an enjoyable morning walking along the walls, why not stop at Grey's Court for a spot of lunch or a bit of afternoon tea? Thank you very much. Here I am at Clifford's Tower. It's set on a tall mound in the heart of Old York. This tower is almost all that remains of York Castle and was originally built by William the Conqueror. It's also where Henry VIII had the bodies of his enemies on public display. Ooh. Well, back to doing what I do best, a bit of retail therapy. For a mix of over 100 high street shops and independent retailers, then Stonegate is the place to be. Now, just around the corner is York's most famous shopping street, the Shambles. Back in medieval times, it was actually a butcher's street and you can still see some of the metal hooks that the butchers used to hang the meat on. Luckily though, these days, the streets are aligned with upmarket gift shops. After a heavy day on your feet, then a rest is definitely in order. The Riverside is the perfect place to drop in for a spot of lunch or a glass of wine. From here, you can watch the world go by and relax by the river. Cheers. Just a few minutes walk from the river, you can see the largest collection of railway history and memorabilia in the world. Here you can see over 300 years of railway history and get hands-on with over 280 locomotives. So whether you're into your bullet trains or fancy a bit of luxury on the Orient Express, this museum has everything you need to know about life on the track. If you'd like to find out about more of York's attractions, then why not drop in here, the Visit York Information Centre. Whilst you're here, you can pick up one of these, the Yorkshire Pass, which gets you into more than 70 attractions across Yorkshire. If you'd like to find out more, you can do so on their website, www.yorkshirepass.com. Well, my mission was to pack in all the attractions that York has to offer in just one day. Have I done it? Yes, I have. And I'm just in time to get my train, which gets me back to London tonight at nine o'clock. See, you can have an adventure in York in just one day.